Jackson, Perry County road officials have been preparing all afternoon, all afternoon for the road conditions that we're seeing right now. I talked to some of the gentlemen who have been working on the trucks about the challenges they're looking at and what they will do differently after the big storm we had back in January. Early Sunday afternoon, crews with the Perry County Roads Department headed into work, even though measurable snow hadn't started falling yet. We're getting ready uh, for whatever comes. We're not real sure what we've got coming. Crews say it can take up to six hours to complete preparation for their 11 county trucks, but they like to start earlier just in case because they've been burned before. When you think you're good and ready, you get out and you break down. So that takes one. When you take one out of the system, that really hurts. Now that the snow is beginning to get more significant, crews can begin what could be a lot of work. Right now, anything that falls is going to stay there where that it's been so cold. So immediately when it starts falling, we'll start working and just keep just keep battling as it comes. Grigsby says he hopes this snow isn't as crippling as last month's, but if it is, his crews are ready. While the officials in Perry County are preparing with salt, officials in Letcher County pass up on pre-treating with salt salt and instead use pea gravel for the roads. I talked to the Letcher County Judge Executive about the benefits of saltless treatment and about what and about why they there weren't people at their garage today. While crews at the State Highway Department next door loaded their trucks with salt, officials with the county were able to have a more hands-off day. When we got get enough warning we try to be pre-prepared. As you see we've got our trucks loaded uh, in the garage so it, uh, the gravels won't freeze. Judge Executive Jim Ward says assigning snow routes to drivers, something new this year, has helped with their efforts. That has worked a lot better. We end up getting a lot more roads done because if you do call in, you may have, you may do it, it snow back under and somebody they'll call you again and you go back so you, sometimes you go back to the, road, the same road two or three times and you had roads that wouldn't get any at all. Road crews in Letcher County also opt for a large amount of pea gravel in their routes, not just because it saves money. Uh, the pea gravel gives you traction. Even if, if we've already done that road and it snows back uh, over, that gravel is still under there, which gives you traction. Mm -hmm. So that, that makes a big difference too. The price difference? Officials say pea gravel costs as little as $11 a ton, while salt can run them as much as $100 a ton. While both counties treat differently, there were several similarities both mentioned as we talk. Both gentlemen say they learned a lot from the January snow we had as far as treatment and different methods go. They both also encourage folks to get out before the snow and stock up on groceries and any medication that they may need. I'll have more from Perry and Letcher County tonight at 11, but for now we'll go ahead back and go, and go inside the studio. Angela? All right, thank you so much, Haley. It